Welcome back. Today I'm going to do something I haven't been able to do ever since I built this hunting blind. And that is clean it out. I didn't have a way to bring up a shop vac and clean it out. I've got the Vito Man Flash Speed 1500 Portable Power Pack. And I'm going to be using that to power this uh, shop vac of mine. And uh, Vito Man reached out to me and said, hey, would you be willing to... Uh, try one of our units and I said absolutely I have a perfect opportunity for it and that's to use it to uh, power a shop back and clean this out because up here in the woods why well, I don't have electricity and I've got uh, this particular ground blind and I've got two others that need cleaned out so we're going to go ahead and give this thing a try I'm going to plug it in to the uh, shop vac and give you a little bit of a rundown on this thing here later on so let's see how this thing does cleaning out a ground blind as well as some other things let's go ahead and power this thing up plug in the uh shop vac here we've got uh some different auxiliaries on this thing and i'll explain a lot of them in more detail down in the shop there but we've got uh, dc power we've got usb power and we've got ac power uh, we've got the inputs usb output can do a jumper cable and we can do a battery second battery for one of these so plug that in turn the ac power on and uh go ahead and turn the shop back on You guys may all remember the build on this one that I did here not too long ago. There is one nice benefit about having these portable power stations is I actually have lighting in here. I can use these portable power stations to uh, plug that in there and come up here and come hunting. I would even try and find a little electric heater that I can plug into it. All right, before I uh, start going over the specifications and all that on this, I had a thought and I wanted to try one more thing with this. And uh, Autumn and I, we've been uh, doing a lot of mountain biking here lately and uh, kind of leave the bikes in the back of the truck because we've been going out every single day. And I thought, well, heck, why couldn't I just plug them into this thing and charge it while uh, they're still sitting in the truck? That way I don't have to pull them out and uh, try and charge them. So let's see what this does here. So we're going to go ahead and I've got both of the bikes hooked up to their chargers here. They're plugged into the bikes. I just need the 110 volt uh, outlets here. So let's go ahead and turn this unit on, plug these in, and let's see what kind of uh, uh, watts and amps this thing pulls. The power pack has 100% charge on it. We'll go ahead and turn the AC on. That's the one we want, alternating current. And right now, without anything plugged in, I've got 99 hours and zero watts being used. So let's go ahead and plug each one of these things in, get it charging and see what that actually does. See if it drops, let's see what it does. All right, so power pack is at 100% capacity. It says that at the wattage we're using, 365, 374, you can watch that go up and down. I got about 3.7, 3.4 hours. It's bouncing around, fluctuating. So the nice thing is, is this particular unit here, the Vito Man Flash Speed 1500 will charge two e-bikes. So that makes it kind of nice. Now I can go ahead and just leave them sit in there 
Uh, can leave them sit in the back of the truck overnight, have it charge them. Some of you might say, well, why wouldn't you just run an extension cord over it? Well, here's the thing. If I'm out on the trail or if I go somewhere for a day and we don't have access to 110 volt power, I've got a power pack here that I could put in the back of the truck and uh, plug these bikes in anywhere we're at. So we've got, uh, I guess, unlimited use of being able to go ride on uh, trails and things like that. Once we get done charging this up, I'd like to plug a couple more things in there, show you what kind of wattage they pull and how many hours they could run at those, that wattage. And then we'll go over the specifications on this and I think uh, show how viable and how valuable it is to have these portable power stations. All right, so I wanted to do some other uh, corded tools that I have and I don't have any of these in the uh, cordless or battery powered. So I've got a uh, handheld planer got a uh, belt sander and I've got my old trusty reliable Milwaukee saw here they're all plugged in I'm gonna be running one at a time and gonna be looking at the wattages used for each one I'm out here in the middle of my driveway where there's no cords plugged into anything so you guys can see that everything's being done off of this power pack and uh, I can show you that uh, these things are capable of providing power to tools that are not battery powered when you would need one. If I'm out in the middle of the wood yard, I'm out doing a project in the woods, let's say I'm working on a ground blind, something like that. I'm able to at least take this power pack up to run some of these corded tools that I have and I can also charge batteries from my cordless tools. So let's go ahead and run some of these and see what the wattage ends up being on these and how long a period we will uh, be able to run them for. We're gonna go ahead and use these. Um, gonna cut the board, gonna run the planer on it, and I'm gonna sand it. Something that you might actually do out uh, in, the, in the woods somewhere or out in the middle of the yard or wherever, but uh, let's go ahead and see what these do. So this is uh, my Milwaukee seven and a quarter saw. Let's see what the power drop is on that. Now we'll go ahead and run the, uh, the handheld planer here. I think I'm going to run this this way so it shoots the sawdust out the correct side. Go ahead and uh, throw the belt sander up here and see what it's pulling. Okay, I'm done with this thing outside and I wanted to bring it back in here so I could do some talking points with it and go over some of the different things. What it is, is the Vito Man Super Safe Life BMS Power Station, Flash Speed 1500. Everything you can see here. And I wanted to go over some of the key points with this thing. It is one of the, one of the, the nicest things about this is it's an ultra fast 1500 watt AC charging, which means I can bring this up to full charge in one hour. Uh, the other thing that it's capable of doing is it's got the, uh, the inputs here. If I want to put a solar panel into that, I can purchase that separately. And it's up to a 400 watt solar input. And it recharges with free and green solar energy. Along with the flat top design here, stack things, holding items, and so on. And that's we'll get to that as well as far as what you can put in here. And we'll go over the jumper cables as well. Some other things about this, it's got the, uh, the constant power, the V Beyond technology, able to power more than 1500 watt appliances and even support appliances with up to 3000 watts. It's got the durable life PO4 batteries, features 3000 plus life cycles to 80% of original battery charge, along with, like I said, the super safe life BMS system. 
It's a battery management system by VitoMan dedicated to improving battery safety and stability. It integrates up to 10 hour battery protection modes. I did ask for this jump starter or this jumper cable system that goes with that. And it's clearly marked on here, plugs into there. And now I can jump start uh, the tractor. I can jump start a car. So if I was to be carrying this in a vehicle and somebody was broke down on the road and needed a jump start, we could do that. And one of the other things that you can get with this is the expandable capacity. You can plug in here an additional battery. The battery capacity expandable to 3,096 watt hour built to last longer. So Vito Man's got a pretty good product here. Uh, the other things that it comes with is it's got this car cigarette lighter to charger. And that's where plug this into a car the other end into here, and I can recharge the uh, power station. And then on the output side of it, it's got, comes with a USB-C plug, which there's two of them up here. It comes with a USB-C to a USB-C, and it also comes with a USB-A to a USB-C you can plug in down here. And again, it's got the outputs for the DC if you wanted to plug in a uh, spotlight. And some other uh, utilities down here, the 12 volt DC outputs. Again, the AC outputs and everything that goes with that. I guess I'm actually pretty impressed with what this, uh, this power station can do. And I wanted to thank Vito Man for sending me one of these to uh, try out here on the channel. And one more thing I wanted to mention about this is you spin it around, it's got a flashlight built into the back side of it. Several different flashlight settings on there. That's pretty handy if you're stuck on the side of the road or something like that and you happen to have this in your vehicle with you. All the different options this thing has, all of its capabilities, all wrapped up into one little unit. You've seen all the different things I've done with it. Shop back to clean out my ground blinds, charging e-bikes, running power tools, all that stuff. So the capabilities of these things are pretty, pretty interesting. Uh, I did not show it charging uh, my cell phone, but I can charge a cell phone. It's pretty boring to watch that. You can charge uh, all kinds of other electronic devices with it, pretty much anything. So I guess uh, if you have an interest, don't forget, look in the description. There's links to this and uh, different codes for finding where you can get one of these and all that. So if you enjoyed this, please don't forget, check out Vito Man, see what they have to offer. Don't forget that thumbs up. Thanks, and we'll see you again soon.